Honey, is this what we actually look like? A series of photos uploaded by a family from Kansas City recently caught the internet's attention thanks to the photographer's amazing photo editing skills. When Facebook user Pam Dave Zering paid $250 to a professional photographer for a family photo shoot, they didn't expect the end product to turn out to be worse than what they actually looked like. After delivering the jaw-dropping photos, the photographer claimed the images were so terrible because the shadows were really bad on the beautiful, clear and sunny day they took the photos. And, oh, by the way, her professor never taught her how to retouch photos. What? Pam Dave Zaring later uploaded the photos to Facebook with the opening line, Okay, this is not a joke. The post then quickly went viral and has been shared over 380,000 times since it was first posted on January 12th. Some commenters felt this was a marketing stunt to promote the photographer's business. Kansas City Star journalist Max Lonberg did some research and found a LinkedIn account associated with the photography business under the name Lessa Hall, and according to the account, Lessa Hall of St. Louis studied photography in college. The photography business also has a Facebook page filled with photos done with the same editing approach. Even photos of the Donald didn't escape the Lessa Hall treatment. Keep watching for more stories about photos that caught the internet's attention. Viral photo of shaved husky sends Twitter into a frenzy. Over thousands of years, huskies have been bred to become strong animals, able to withstand harsh, extreme cold temperatures. So naturally, when you see one without its coat, something looks and feels very wrong. This photo posted by a Twitter user has many up in arms. The husky's thick double coat is what keeps them insulated from the cold. The overcoat is long and water resistant, while the undercoat is short and warm. Without their fur, huskies are not only unprotected from cool air, but also exposed to the sun's UV rays, allowing for easy sunburn. With no explanation offered as to why the husky was shaved, animal lovers online are worried it was stripped of its fur for some kind of sick joke. Twitter user Lily Stark points out that such a bold haircut affects the coat's function and never grows back right. However, user Lorelai Mission counters that animals are often shaved due to medical reasons or for surgery to be conducted. One user mentioned he'd heard the dog had been involved in some sort of glue accident, and in that case the trim might be justified, but we've not been able to verify that claim. User Ted here doesn't seem to care what the reasons are behind this cut, but hopes the pup's down to party. The user who posted the photo claimed he found it somewhere online, so for all we know, there's someone wearing that poor husky's coat around just to be fashionable. And unfortunately, seems he's not the only one walking around feeling coatless and looking ridiculous. Poor little guys. In any case, I think we can all agree, unless it's absolutely necessary, let your huskies keep their nice, thick, fluffy coat. They need them. Demon to some, angel to others. This photo of what appears to be some sort of winged creature has gone viral, with some saying it's a demon, while others insist it's an angel. Richard Christensen from Levine, Arizona, posted the photo to Facebook on January 1st. In his post, Christensen asked, What the hell do you see in this picture for reals, anybody? The post was shared 80,000 times before Christensen took it down on Wednesday. But uh, many people are skeptical, suggesting the dark shape looming over the sidewalk is likely just a tree or a Photoshop job. But Facebook user Chrissy Love seems convinced of the photo's authenticity. Love noted that there weren't any palm trees in Levine that looked like a demon. I knew Levine was haunted, she wrote. But what do you think? Is this just a tree shaped like a winged spirit? A Photoshop stunt? Or is it evidence of the supernatural? Let us know in the comments. Did someone forget their manners? Flying is usually an enjoyable experience until you have to put up with people who left their etiquette on the ground. <sighs> An airline passenger was recently roasted on Reddit and Instagram after a photo showing a pile of trash in the middle of the aisle right next to his seat. No one knows what happened prior to the incident, but the guy was seen reading a book looking unbothered with remains of a half-eaten airline dinner and trash beside him. While the passenger may have not been bothered by the mess, internet users certainly were. A Reddit user who claims to be a flight attendant said it's uncertain if the contents on the floor were the doing of this particular passenger, but they have seen passengers do this before, and it's infuriating. Since the photo was posted on social media, it's gotten over 34,000 upvotes on Reddit and nearly 5,000 likes on Instagram. More than 3,000 comments have been made between both platforms. Unfortunately, the witch hunt won't do much, since the identity of the passenger and name of the airline remain unknown. 
Oh, there's a problem with the plane engine? Hmm, tape should do the trick. This is not really the kind of thing you want to see from the window of a plane that's about to take off. The image, which has racked up roughly 2 million views, shows a maintenance worker pulling what looks like duct tape across the outside of an EasyJet engine. But imager users say it's actually probably speed tape, a pressure-sensitive adhesive that's used for minor repairs on airplanes and race cars. And EasyJet was quick to comment on the page of Adam Wood, who shared the picture on Twitter. The airline wrote that the tape was there because of cosmetic work, not because of structural damage. Of course, that didn't stop the snarkiness. One Twitter user asked if he should bring super glue on his upcoming EasyJet flight. Would you feel comfortable flying on this plane? Leave your thoughts in the comments.